start will be tonight. He will jump center against a six foot 11 Jonas Adu, and it'll be Tolo Smith and the Bulldogs winning the opening tip. The Bulldogs in white, Tennessee and Orange were underway here at the hub. Mississippi State has lost nine out of the last 10 to Tennessee. We'll see how they do here. Not good on the opening possession. It's a turnover and a steal for the balls. Yeah, that pass wasn't there. That just wasn't open. That's a little opening jitters. Tennessee can do that to a lot of folks. Suffocating defense by the balls as you see connect. Misconnect on the first shot. Ziegler pulls the trigger on the second, and he continues his red hot shooting. Mississippi State with its fourth different starting lineup of the season. And they will bring their top scorer off the bench, number 13, Josh Hubbard. He's a five foot ten dynamo. It's a lot of fun to watch instant offense when he does get in there. Shot clock under 10. It's Smith left of the lane. Banging bodies, oh. forcing his way. A little bully ball, coach. <laughs> a little smash mouth hoops, block to block. Starting five for the Volunteers. Some familiar names. And then Dalton Connect has been a brilliant transfer for them. One of the best shooters thus far in the SEC. Vescovy playing in his 129th career game. Another veteran. It's Josiah Jordan James backing in on Matthews. A fade and fire back iron. Tapped around and corralled by Deshaun Davis. Both teams have opened up man to man, but I fully expect Mississippi State to kind of sprinkle in some zones. Mismatch. Big time mismatch. Tolu does not take advantage. He defers, and Davis says, thank you very much. I'll just sink a triple. 35% from bonus land on the year. He's been in double figures six times. I'm talking about Davis and his three-point shooting in those six games, almost 50%. Connects, lines up another, can't find it. And here come the Bulldogs. They're much better in playing up-tempo this year. They had one of the slowest tempos in all of college basketball a year ago. What did Chris Jans tell us today? You better be able to score in transition against Tennessee. Yeah, buckets are so hard to come by in the half court. They're going to need to get some easy buckets in transition. Meanwhile, another turnover on State. Ziegler sets it up, measures a three, connects again. Now he's in the zone now, I'm telling you. You can tell in a guy's eyes when he's feeling it. 42% from downtown the last four games, and he's two for two to start here. It's going to be a great battle inside between Adu and Tolu Smith. Who can catch the ball where they want to get it? Well, that's where you want to get it, and he thunders it home right in the face of the 6'11 Adu. I like the way Tolu moved him up the lane and created the passing angle, if you will. Ziegler drive and kick to Josiah Jordan James. Around the horn, it comes to Vescovy. Adu on a face and fire. He hits the mid-range. A lot of offense so far early on with two <laughs> defensively-minded clubs. If you would have told me it was going to be 4-2 to two before the first <laughs> media timeout, I would have probably believed you. But instead, we got 15 early points. Up and under move. Off the glass, no good. Tolu Smith, one of the best rebounders in the country, almost corralled another one. Ziegler, who's going to guard number five in orange? Vescovy finds James. James back to Ziegler in the corner. Not no. three for three. That one pops out. Look good, though. Bulldogs, full throttle in the front court. Moore. Too strong on the triple. But that's the kind of possession that Chris Jans was talking about. Vescovy had it blocked by Moore. Adu into the corner to connect. Probes the baseline. Great passing sets up Ziegler. And Ziegler runs into a brick wall and a steal by Matthews. Two on two. Matthews gets fouled. A reach in by Vescovy. And that'll bring us to a media timeout after a frenetic start to this game. Great high-low action early on. Tolu Smith in the starting lineup. Watch the way he runs Adu up the paint and then gets the throw over for the easy one-handed slam. We've got a good one going in Starkville.
hot start to this ball game for both teams Tennessee leading Mississippi State by a point one of the strengths of Mississippi State last year and this year rebound margin they're plus 7.3 that's one of the top marks in the country but somehow inexplicably in Columbia on Saturday they were minus nine on the glass that is something that Chris Jans and company certainly hope to do a better job of today with the likes of Jimmy Bell and Tolu Smith and company they are a team that are at its best when they are able to control the glass and then of course are able to, to lock down defend people that's what Chris Jans has staked, staked his reputation on over the years no matter where he's been I don't know that they have to win the rebound margin tonight but they cannot lose it and they rarely do lose it that was an aberration in Columbia and a tough loss to the Gamecocks there's going to be some really good SEC teams that are 0-2 after <laughs> yes. tonight Foul on a three-point shot. That's a no-no. That is Mayshack on the foul. So three free throws coming up for the hometown Bulldogs. Rick Barnes. Boy, always love our conversations <laughs> yes. with Rick Barnes. Sometimes they have nothing to do with <laughs> basketball or the game at hand. Most of the time. Most of the time they don't. But we had a good hour with Coach. It's his 1,200th career game. Everywhere he has been, he has won. He talked about... The fact that he was almost hired at Tennessee a long time ago. Right. His wife actually went to school in Knoxville. And eventually, after going to Texas, of course, that's where he wound up going. And the volunteers are certainly very happy to have a future Hall of Fame coach in Rick Barnes. Mike, one of the games within the game, I think, in this matchup is Mayshack guarding Hubbard. Hubbard coming off the bench, the freshman sensation and fouling and getting fouled right away. I gotta believe that's a positive, positive sign for Hubbard and the Bulldogs. Mississippi State, again, just suffocating defense. A little too aggressive that time. A reach and foul, I believe they had DJ Jeffries, the guilty party. Look at Chris Jans. I love the physicality by Jeffries, but there's no need to reach in. You had already got Meshack corralled in a compromising position. The thing that stands out about this Tennessee team, we know they always defend. That's a staple of Rick Barnes, much like it's a staple for Chris Jans. But this year, the scoring is better. That time, James has a three ball spin out. Bulldogs up by two, under 15 minutes to play in the opening half. Here's the big man, Jimmy Bell. Yeah, it's too far out, though, for a big guy to work himself back into the scoring zone, and yet Bell does it. Jimmy Bell would like to have a word with you, Mark Wise. <laughs> transfer from West Virginia says, I got it under control. What a luxury to have Bell and Tolu Smith. Right now it's Bell bellying up. Waka. Ziegler on a floater, drops the teardrop in. And even though he went off one foot, it was all under control. He really sees the game almost like most great point guards in slow motion. Eight early points for Ziegler. And he's in an absolute zone the last few games. Alley-oop pass attempt and a steal instead. Now a loose basketball, scrambled for, picked up by State. And Josiah James. Just continues to get his hands on the pumpkin. Now Tennessee in transition. Another ball poked away. Things are getting physical here in a hurry. I mean, awfully physical, and we've got a whistle and a foul that time. Oglesby, nope, it's going to be a travel. Take another look at Ziegler. Under control, playing off one foot. I think he goes off his right foot. No, it's his left. But see, he was under control. He took what the defense gave him. He didn't go too far like a lot of guards do. A little full court pressure here displayed by the Volunteers. Beat the five count, get it in. Bell finds a guard, it'll be Matthews. Two veteran teams, a lot of familiar names that have been around the block in this Southeastern Conference, which, oh, by the way, right now leads the country in quad one and quad two victories. Offensive rebound, a miss that time by Bell. He carved out space, but could not finish. Yeah, that's one you gotta make. James gliding, 
dumps it off, sets up an open three, pops out of there. Now Tennessee's gone a little cold. Meshack does not shoot a lot of threes, but this year he's been 44%, so he's knocked down the ones he's taken. Hubbard in the game, the instant offense for State. He's on the perimeter. They don't give him a touch that time. James on a good box out weak side. Quickly in the front court. Sets up the open three. And Haney's struggles continue at the arc. He was a great shooter before he transferred to Tennessee. And you're right, there seems to be a confidence issue for the former USC upstate guard who's only shooting 30% from the three-point line. Yeah, his last four games, just three for 14. So make that three for 16 now. What do you want to see at a state offensively? I'm trying to figure out what the identity is. We talked to Coach Jans about it. Here's what I like. They're quick attacking. I don't think you can work and work the shot clock inside five against Tennessee. That, that's no good. Yeah. That's a possession they'd like to move past, flush it, and forget that happened. It's interesting when you take a look at Rick Barnes's Tennessee teams. According to Ken Palm, their tempo is right at 100. But on defense, it's 304, meaning they don't allow you quick scores. Right. And when we talked to Chris Jans today, he was quite blunt about that. They had to find some quick scores. Yeah, and, and because it, the deeper you get into that 30-second shot clock, the harder it is against the stifling Tennessee D. Yeah, advantage, big orange. Ziegler feeling his way out. 5'9 guard just always finding the right spot on the floor. Sets up an open shooter, but a little too cute that time for Ganey as his struggles continue on the turnover. Great offensive pace here early on, and a lot of it has to do with Zakai Ziegler, who continues his marvelous three-point shooting here in the early going. And as a consequence, when your best player is your best player, good things happen for the balls, and Ziegler off on the right foot. Last year, Kermit Davis, Conzo Martin, and Bryce Drew at Vanderbilt. It's awfully difficult to do. I don't know if many people saw that coming, Mark, but he did an outstanding job. Chris Jans in his eighth year overall, four NCAA tournaments. Inside, Smith muscles his way, the hoop and the harm. The important thing here is where does to Tolu Smith catch the ball? Look, he's only one foot off the paint, so he doesn't have far to go. Bescovy does the best he can, but once it gets in there, Smith is just too strong, too powerful for the and one opportunity. Second foul on Bescovy. Now this is where Tolu Smith has completely revamped his game. A career 61% free throw shooter he now is 12 for 13 on the season. Remember, Mississippi State got off to a good start on the road against South Carolina and led much of the first half. And they're off to another good start here tonight. Connect is 0 for 3 now. The sharp shooting guard for Tennessee, the transfer from the University of Northern Colorado. He has been such an addition for Tennessee this year. Do we call that the other UNC? Because he also went for his career I was high say, against the other yeah, UNC. The, the other UNC <laughs> wish he never went to the Dean Dome because he lit him up for 37. Ball poked away. Now Jeffries is just so active defensively for a guy his size. Fort into the game for the first time for Mississippi State, number 11 in white. You see, that's a little too far out, I think. Bulldogs on an 8-0 run. Trying to cash in here as Tennessee has gone chilly from the field, missing eight of nine. Great hands that time by the Volunteers. Shot clock under five. Fort's going to have to rise and fire. Brick City and Connect rebounds it at the free throw line. One of the questions to ask in this game, for both teams, Who's dictating your quality of shot? Mm -hmm. Are you or is the defense? Oh, what a pass by Siegler. And they do gets fouled. This is where when you do get fouled and you make free throws, I wish the guard would get the assist. 
You set up points with a great pass. Coming up next, mentioned it's a doubleheader at the top. We take it to the pavilion in Oxford for Ole Miss hosting Florida. Two quality teams that could very well be tournament teams, Mark Wise, and yet one of them yeah. is going to be 0-2 at the end of the night. Both teams are significantly better than they were a year ago. Mm -hmm. This is what happens when you have such a deep league is that you're going to have teams that are really good but the conference record is not necessarily going to be stellar because almost every night you've got a, either a quad one or a quad two. The winner of this game gets a quad one win. Yeah, this is a rare thing in terms of uh, both teams able to get a quad one win. As a matter of fact, there are 14 games in the league this week. There are only two examples or two games where both teams have quad one opportunities. And Mississippi State, they're hosting both of them. Right. Because they have Alabama here on the weekend. Hey, we're already in mid-January. I've got the quintessential quad man, and I'm not talking about <laughs> your physique by any means. I'm talking about <laughs> metrics and basketball. Mark Wise, you have always been, since they came out with the net. Love it. Nobody has been more quadrific than yourself. So <laughs> I love setting you up for these things early on in the year. Oh, Great man. take by Smith. I tell you what, if the early indications tell me anything, is that Tolu Smith and that foot injury, they're doing just fine. The conditioning's, conditioning's still a work in progress, right. but he seems awfully healthy and explosive. For a guy six foot 11, and take a look at, and this is what Mike referenced earlier, he's really struggled throughout his career, but he has turned that around. Look at this, 13 of 14? Have you been working with him on the side? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, th then I, I guess we need to get you a raise. Let's talk to your agent. <laughs> I mean, 61% for career. Uh, that one, he pinched it and left it well short. Connect. On the rebound, he's been quiet. Everybody not named Ziegler has been quiet for Tennessee. Mississippi stay a little three-quarter show-and-go press. But look at Jeffries keeping Connect in front of him. Ten on the shot clock. Crowd yeah. gets loud here at the hump. Yeah, this is a little 2-3 zone. Shot clock down to one, and they won't get it off. Tremendous defense by Mississippi State. It looked like a man-to-man -man the way Jeffries was pressuring the ball, but it was actually a 2-3, and I don't think Tennessee ever got into a rhythm. Watch Jeffries keep connect in front of him. Doesn't allow him to turn the corner and does the same. And then now it's late clock situation. That is a shadow. That's a shutdown corner like Luke. Can I still make a football analogy? <laughs> Since, you know, Nick Saban just happened to retire today. Oh, by the way. Inside it comes. That's danger zone. Tolu Smith from close range. Offensive rebound, Matthews. And Mississippi State more than holding its own on the glass in the early going. Ten on the shot clock for Matthews. Looking for a guard. He finds one. Here's Davis. Davis with five. Davis on the attack. Dipsy do missed it. And a rebound to Adu. Tennessee has not hit a field goal in over five minutes. James trying to change it. Can't do it. Top floor by Tolu Smith. Mike, is the, does the pace of the game surprise you a little bit offensively? Absolutely. They're not necessarily scoring, but both teams are trying really hard to score quickly in transition. And really, that was the goal that both coaches told us today. I mean, Rick Barnes said, we got to play fast. we got to move fast. We can't get stagnant. In the half court, connect on a pull-up mid-range jumper, and that is the kind of shot he's been making all year, averaging over 15 a night. That time he beat Jeffries to the spot, but it wasn't with a lot of dribbles. Connect, who led the big sky in scoring at Northern Colorado and somehow didn't make first team all yeah, big sky. Yeah, you said that today, and I was like, really? I need a word with the voters in the <laughs> big sky conference. Matthews. Rough shot, and there's James to clean it up. Tennessee could use a bucket. James on the attack, draws the foul. He took it right at Matthews. Aggressive take, and he'll be rewarded with two free throws when we come back with 7.51 to go 
Bulldogs up by three here in Stark Vegas. Vescovy, Connect, Ziegler, and James have all poured in a thousand over the career, so they're they're not reliant on one guy. Right. And right now they need somebody other than Ziegler to provide some scoring. That's just one of 11 teams who can make that right. claim in the country. Yeah, it's it's one of the reasons why people are so high on Tennessee this year because the defense always travels with a Rick Barnes team. At times they have been a little bit inconsistent on the offensive end, and that has done them in in some postseason games. But they've got more firepower. Oh, there's banging bodies all over the place. This is the kind of play that will get both coaches complaining about. Yeah, the exactly. <laughs> and they're both up. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> you can see it. You can, you can see both coaches immediately get off their bench. Foul goes on Awaka. I will say this, Rick Barnes, years and years of you and I covering Rick Barnes' team since he went to Tennessee, I've never heard him say so many positive things about SEC officiating. He really thinks it's <laughs> dramatically improved. Ah, uh, he's getting soft. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not like he's going to get any calls from us by saying nice things. Matthews, strong take! And one for Cameron Matthews out of Olive Branch, Mississippi. This is where he gets a high screen or a high pick and roll. And just term gets determined to get to the rim. Here comes the screen. And watch him just attack the rim. What a great finish by Matthews. That, that is strength. Strength, balance, dexterity. All the things that a young Mark Wise actually had. <laughs> Matthews too strong on the free throw and James corrals it in the corner. I've always thought, Mike, when you miss the and one opportunity, the cash in on the free throw, it's kind of an emotional letdown. Yeah, it is. It is. You want to get that three point play. You got to cap it off. Nice take, but no finish. Adu had the offensive rebound and we've got a jump ball and the arrow will go to Tennessee. Well, I don't care if you're talking about Bell and Awaka or Adu and Tolu Smith. It is big boy basketball yeah. block to block. And Tennessee is winning the battle on the glass right now, 16 to 9. James trying to lob it in Adu. And knocked away. Those quick hands by Mississippi State. One through five. They are menacing. 7 minutes to go in the first half. I think that's a shot Davis has got to take. He's, yeah. Excuse me, more in the corner. Yeah. He will take it though. He doesn't pass up many. Josh Hubbard never bashful. The leading scorer despite coming off the bench. He's made three or more threes eight times already in his inaugural campaign. Take another look at how deep this is. Hubbard, as I mentioned, two thirds of his shots are threes. And he's a smaller dude. I don't know that that comes across on television. He's only 5'10". Well, it doesn't come across when he's near Ziegler. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody else it comes across, I think, pretty well. But yeah, he packs a lot of punch. He was a scoring machine in high school. Sometimes you wonder how that's going to translate at a short as a shorter guard, but it has so far. What has not translated is Tennessee from behind the arc. Everybody who's not named Ziegler is a combined 0 for 10. One of the problems that Mississippi State had against South Carolina the other night. How about this crossover? Oh, no, oh, man. No. Pretty. Hubbard goes to work. Timeout, Rick Barnes of Tennessee, and the largest lead for the Bulldogs. I started to say one of the problems Mississippi State had the other night was foul trouble in the first half, and Matthews has picked up two again. But when you're shooting the ball as efficiently as Hubbard can do from deep, it almost erases all sins. Watch this, between the legs, crossover, cross back, and let it fly. Freshman Josh Hubbard from Madison, Mississippi. Set all kinds of scoring records 
in high school. He he had just a few more points than you did in your high school career. Just, he had over 4,300. Just a couple, just a couple. Top 100 recruit, the Mississippi Gatorade player of the year. He prepped at Madison Ridgeland Academy. And you see SEC scoring leaders off the bench, instant offense. I mean, Kentucky with Dillingham and Shepard, they would start with every, anybody in the country. Three and of the four freshmen all in freshmen. battle. Yeah. The transfer from Temple. But these guys, you know, every coach in the country as we see Mississippi State go to this 1-3-1. One, one. Every coach in the country wants to, Mike, look down that bench and go, hey, go get me yeah. 12. Go get me 14 tonight. That's exactly what he's been able to do. James, turn around. And there's a do, excuse me, right place, right time as a walk-up. And the 1-3-1 one, one morphs into a 2-3, but regardless of what zone you're in, one of the questions that you always have to answer, can you rebound out of the zone? Before that bucket, Tennessee had more turnovers than field goals. Lead cut to eight, shot clock down to five. Smith, banging bodies, turns and fires, misses everything, and a great box out weak side that time by Meshack. Watch out, connect. He has not been able to get into any kind of rhythm so far in this game. But I like the flow Tennessee played with there in transition. And they're trying to hard hedge anytime Hubbard comes off a high pick and roll. Under five minutes to go as Jeffries angles it into Tolu Smith. Smith wants it. That's <laughs> like candy. Taking candy from a baby, you get that kind of position on the block. When he turns back over that right shoulder, you're done defensively. It's all over. Now Tolu will get a shot defensively and a steal by Mississippi State. Will they attack here? Hubbard will instead peel back. I was just about to say that Tolu Smith looks a little winded yeah, right he does. now. Yeah, a little careless, allowing the turnover. Here's Ziegler, killer, in between the legs dribble and then goes on the attack and draws the foul. Take another look. Tolu Smith, first of all, watch where he catches it. It's a good yard off the block. But he gets himself into the scoring zone, and once he turns again over that right shoulder and can finish left-handed, you're done defensively. Hey, Mark, there's the shot that we were just talking about. Tolu Smith has had his hand on his knees for the last 30 seconds or so. He is gassed right now, and that's the only concern is just the conditioning. He's right. only averaging about 14 minutes a game since the return. Uh-oh, there's a breakdown, and that's where when you got a winded player, that's how breakdowns happen. Yeah, miscommunication totally. A welcome sight, though, for Tennessee. Easy points. And Tennessee just shooting 30% from the field in this first half. Jeffries up top. Yeah, they missed Smith. He had position on the block. Smith. In the trees, <laughs> he says, I'm not tired at all. He took that from the elbow down the left side of the lane and finished over on the right side of the rim. 12 points, a game high for Tolu Smith. Tennessee continues to be ice cold from the field. Jeffries. And a baseline runner by Shaquille Moore. But Mike, that's more of that early offense mm -hmm. before Tennessee's defense can get settled. Connect, power drive left. Kicks it out. Dipsy do, no sir. And somehow getting the rebound in traffic was Mayshack, but then they lose it back again. And there's that guy that's so disruptive. Jeffries, and I think Chris Jans senses yeah. that his team is gassed. Yeah. They've earned a timeout. 12-point lead with 2.40 to go here at the hump. Free throw line, 
He's been efficient here in the first half. Yeah, already playing 12 minutes. You see he's averaging a little more than 19. Ideally, you wouldn't mind seeing the big guy play closer to 30 when he has got his conditioning back. He stays in the game. Mississippi State enjoying a 12-point lead with two and a half to go here in the first half. The largest lead. Another open look, a three. You know Hubbard's not going to pass that up. Loose ball, scramble, connect, had it. State got it. Did they give him the timeout? They did. Wow. What a play by DJ Jeffries. Yeah, but I'm not sure that's the play that Chris Jans won. He just took a timeout. So now this is two within a, another a couple of minutes, but watch this. The ball, ball gets ping-ponged around. Jeffries, the effort guy, calls the timeout. I'm not sure Chris Jans would really want that one. <laughs> Well, how about this? If they get a bucket after the timeout, we'll call it a good play. <laughs> yes. If they don't, we'll criticize it. I want to remind everybody every Thursday right here on the SEC Network, we'll have a women's basketball doubleheader this week. We're highlighting the first game with the Lady Balls having won five straight. They host Florida and Knoxville at 7 Eastern, 6 Central. He's the coach, Mark Wise. I'm Mike Morgan. Great to be with you here at the Hump. I, he, they must have called him out of bounds. Oh, or so did he no give timeout. him the timeout and he was out of bounds? No, no, I can't do that. No, they, the timeout's back on the board. So no timeout. The turnover will give it to Tennessee. So that might actually be what you're talking about, Mark. That yes. actually might be a, a good thing, as it, as it were, for yes. Mississippi State. Shot clock down to seven. I mean, it's like Mississippi State has six guys and six sets of arms. Open three for the corner. Splash. After a turnover, early offense. Hubbard again. He's got 12. Another steal. Jeffries, Hubbard again. He checked too strong. And an over-the-back foul on Jones. Keep your eye on DJ Jeffries. I talk about how disruptive he is. He's in the bottom of your screen. There, there he comes anticipating that pocket pass, and that leads to the runout and the Hubbard three ball from the corner pocket. But Jeffries has been so disruptive defensively. When's the last time you saw a defense against a top five team like Tennessee with seven steals in the first half? Seven steals for Mississippi State. But again, that's what Chris Jans coaches. You want to talk about an identity? That's the identity of a Chris Jans team. Tennessee's fewest points in the first half this year. They tallied 30 against Syracuse. They are at 18 right now. Approaching the one minute mark of the first half. Here's Smith trying to do a spin move and then stepped on the note. They'll say it's off of Tennessee. I don't know if that's in uh, Tolu Smith's repertoire. <laughs> yeah. The starting that far out. Yeah, the <laughs> spin move 18 feet from the bucket. You got to be smart here with seven on the shot clock. Plenty of time. Oh, nice play. Good ball fake. you got to go ahead and shoot that, though. And James could not help himself. Made the contact with Hubbard, who helped sell the call. And I believe that's the seventh team foul, so a one and one upcoming. you got James to leave the floor. Just go ahead and shoot it. Yeah, you could have had a chance at a four-point play. The NBA would do that. Absolutely. As a matter of fact, they live by that. <laughs> yes, they do. This is... Again, Hubbard back to the free throw line. He does not always get there a lot but because when he, of his three-point prowess. When he does, 86% and rattles out, so misses the front end. Well, that's even because Ziegler missed the front end for Tennessee. 15-point lead for the hometown Bulldogs. Under a minute to play, first half. Ziegler on a runner. Boy, they need to get him back in the flow. He's got 10. Makes it look easy, doesn't he? He's been the only guy that Tennessee has been able to rely on tonight. Moore finds the cutter. Jeffries rips down the rim. 
I love the cut off of a drive. I think that is so hard to defend. James with four, lost the handle. James gets it back, throws it up there, and gets the friendly bounce. And that is how the half will come to a close. Boy, did Tennessee need that for Tennessee now. What do you do to get some of that great offense on the side of Big Orange? They've got to find better shots. Their quality of shot in the first half was completely dictated by the Mississippi State defense. They've got to dictate, and I'm talking about Tennessee, what kind of shot they're going to get. That's poor spacing there. Bulldogs have it here on the opening possession. Tolu Smith, who enjoyed a great first half, sets up Davis on a three, no good. Tapped around in Vescovi. Vescovi fouled along the baseline, so that'll be the first foul of the second half. It'll go against Cameron Matthews. And that's really not a good foul by Matthews because that's his third. And that'll get him back to the bench, most likely. You know, Sean, I'm not a, always a big believer in the plus, mi plus minus category mm -hmm. statistically, but Jones in the first half, in his almost 11 minutes, the Bulldogs were plus 15. Ziegler trying to drop a dime, and he does. And on the receiving end is Adu, had a quiet first half. Adu has had a couple of monster games, including a 24.10 rebound performance in his last game, but they would like to see him be a little more consistent. Well, that would be one way to get better shots. Now, here's turnovers. Now, remember, what did Chris Jans talk to us about his team? It seems like they have one bad half of turnovers every three or four games. Good ball movement. Well, oh, connect continues to be ice cold from behind the arc. Jeffries in transition. He really didn't have numbers. Connect on the other end. Where did that come from? Dalton Connect drops the hammer. But Ziegler, again, seeing the entire floor. Connect showing some hops. I thought maybe a little finger roll, a little, <laughs> little window magic. Step back. Almost a wedgie fired up that time by Moore. Ziegler scanning and throws up another floater. Ziegler with 12 points now to lead Tennessee. Mike, does he ever miss that shot? It doesn't seem like it is. There is an art form to that. And Chris Jans sensing a Tennessee run quickly calls a timeout. That'll leave he and the Bulldogs with two with 7.55 to go, 17.55 to go. Here in the second half. Well, going up and down the floor. Action on both ends. First on the Mississippi State side. Watch this. Jeffries comes right in your living room and attacks in transition. But immediately, Ziegler finds Connect. And he throws down with the one-handed. Two is get out and score some early baskets of your own in mm -hmm. transition. And we've seen both of those. Good start to the second half. You knew Tennessee was going to make a run, just a matter of when. Mississippi State got off to a great start against South Carolina on the road and wound up losing. Got completely outplayed in the second half. Smith on a wheel and deal. Wow, Tolu Smith has added some moves to his yeah. repertoire. There's Jeffries again. Unreal. Four <laughs> steals and now a swat. He wouldn't get that steal, but he deserves it. See how far out Tolu Smith can now operate? Well, that's great read. You got to shoot that. Ziegler blocked the three. Smallest guy on the floor at 5'9", just got a rejection. Davis has got to take that shot. Take another look. Ziegler, you think he's going to talk in the film room about this? Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> How often does he get a block? Connect can't 
tight rope the baseline. It'll be state basketball with 13 to shoot. Mike, don't you get the sense that Rick Barnes has kind of tightened the reins defensively? There's Absolutely. more ball pressure to start the second 20. Yeah, heat him up a little bit. In the corner, Jeffries. Back up top to Hubbard, with three to shoot. Hubbard, fade and fire. Got it. A whistle down low, and it's going to be against Mississippi State, but the bucket will count. Yeah, this is on Tolu Smith trying to fight for inside position. I think he kind of threw away Vescovy, I believe, who got mismatched with the big fella. And it, take another look inside. Here's the Hubbard. Watch Smith just kind of throw Vescovy out of the way. I don't know, it wasn't a lot there. The bucket does count. James, meanwhile, left that three short. How yeah. active is DJ Jeffries? If you want to watch how to impact the game without scoring, watch DJ Jeffries. That's why he's out there. Open three, missed it. Offensive rebound, State. Tolu Smith, another offensive rebound. Right now, he is just chiseling his way deep into the paint and causing all kinds of havoc. Right now, Tennessee has no answer for Tolu Smith, whether you're talking about in the half court offensively or getting on the glass. And now Tolu Smith has missed a couple of free throws. Again, that's been his Achilles heel throughout his career, a career 61% free throw shooter. Adu gets a breather for Tennessee. So right now, Tennessee going with a smaller lineup. Yeah, Waka will get the Tolu Smith assignment. And he only goes 6'8", so that's a tough assignment for a 6'8". Forward to guard Tolu Smith. Another different change of defense, a little 2 2 1. How do you attack it? Up the sideline, great pass ahead by Vescovy. Ziegler left alone for a three. 15 points for Zakai Ziegler, who is almost single handedly keeping Tennessee in this game. Just seems like Mississippi State is having to run their offense a little further out, but they're still getting it down low to the big guy. Smith again gets deep and draws contact and a foul. If you want to beat full court pressure, one of the ways is to move the ball ahead. The ball moves quicker in the air than it does on the dribble. Watch as Vescovy moves the ball ahead quickly, and that leads to the Ziegler. Unchallenged three, Tennessee trying to mount a comeback. A very animated Rick Barnes right now on the sideline. He knows his Tennessee Volunteers are going to have to pick it up, really on both ends of the floor. Mark, I agree. They've got a. I think they are playing defensively better with the exception of Tolu Smith. They're putting more pressure on the ball. They're making it difficult for Mississippi State to get in their sets, but the release has been finding Tolu Smith, and he's shown the ability to either score or get fouled even when he catches the ball 15 feet from the rim. And because of that, because of his expansion of his offensive game, Tennessee's having all kinds of trouble with number one in white. I think everybody was wondering which Tolu Smith were we going to get these last few games. Again, it's only his third game back from injury. And his first two games, he came off the bench, still was very effective. But the concern that Chris Jans had talking to him at shoot around today was not so much his health, but his conditioning. At times, he has looked exhausted out there, hands on hips. But he doesn't want to get out of this game as he's putting together a terrific performance against the number five team in America. That's now 17 points for Tolu Smith. What did he say? He said Smith doesn't run a lot of sprints. He has to get on the bike. To me, that sounds like a good deal. Get out of sprint <laughs> running. <laughs> When's the last time you did a sprint? Who are we kidding? Uh, it's been a while. It's been a while? <laughs> How about the bike? 
Now, the bike I do. You are on the bike. And when you have a new knee, you have to get on the bike. That's right. Uh, that new knee was tested after a lengthy delay at the Atlanta <laughs> airport yesterday. Took it like a champion. And Ziegler splashes the first free throw. But he Mike, now has 16. You mentioned this. Ziegler's got to have help. Yeah, he's got to find, you know, Connect hasn't hit his outside shot. Neither has James. And Adu hasn't had that kind of dominating performance that he did against Ole Miss. So it, it really has been a one-man band. Vescovy got in early foul trouble. And he hasn't been a huge factor. He's still got a goose egg. He's only fired up one shot. And this is a foul on Ziegler. Here's another example of Tennessee going down the floor, trying to pick up and trying to really change the where the game is being played because geographically speaking, the game is being played in the paint. Oh, they got him right in the corner. Good execution, and Tennessee does get the steal. Perfectly done. That's what I'm talking about. Change where the game is being played. Pretty pretty move that time by Connect with the left. I think somebody's got to run long. And another turnover, and there's Vescovy to cash in with his first bucket. Back-to-back -back turnovers forced by the full court pressure. See, with all four players in the front back court, all five defensive players are in the back court. And it leads to a layup on the other end. Hanging and firing off the window is Sean Jones. But if you're going to press, you have to be willing to live with that occasionally. And remain Tennessee basketball. Take another look, the throw over to beat the press, and then Jones, hang time, one-handed off the window. 6'6 six, six sophomore out of Houston, Texas. One of the few players in this game who's not an upperclassman. As we mentioned at the top, these are two veteran teams. Great save attempt, but it will be out of bounds to Mississippi State. Nice hustle that time by the Volunteers, Awaka. Individual possessions, side out in the backcourt, one of the more difficult places to inbound the ball against full court pressure. Not surprisingly, Tennessee's gonna keep up that full court man to man as Mississippi State will bring in Deshaun Davis. I like this look better. Ball comes into Davis, and Tennessee will peel back. It's a nine-point game. Mississippi State has dominated for most of the night. Rise and fire three. Wow. Hubbard right in the face of Ziegler, and he lets him know about it. Fearless. 17 points for the freshman. Just a scoring machine. Take another look, Hubbard. I mentioned fearless. It was really poor spacing, but it doesn't matter to the young fella. Connect, hasn't connected yet, but till then from downtown. He was ice cold from behind the arc, 0 for 4. We'll see if that gets him going, and the lead is cut to 9. Simple play, but a really late closeout. Three on the other end. No, sir, and a nice box out by Ziegler and James. 14 minutes to Watch play. Watch out. Connect Watch again. Out. Got it. And he is heating up, and so are the Volunteers. You could see it coming after the first one. And again, Tennessee has changed the geography of the game. The game is now being played from the arc to the arc. Full court pressure remains. Connect now with 10 second half points and a steal. That will be Tennessee basketball. Connect is doing it all here in the last stanza. Take another look at Connect making this three ball in transition. I've never been, I have never been a big fan of a bounce pass to inbound the ball against pressure. Yeah. The ball just kind of hangs right. there. Becomes tantalizing for the defense to steal it. Ziegler, pump fake, and he rattles home a three. 
Tennessee is raining trays, and it's a three-point game. Another turnover. Vescovy, pump fake, kick out. And Ziegler will set it up, or will Vescovy fire a three? He will. Too strong. Now it's Mississippi State who needs a basket. Mike, do you like your action, 94 feet? All in favor. <laughs> All in favor, and now an offensive foul called on Jimmy Bell trying to carve out space down low. Tennessee will try to add to a 9-0 run. Take another look inside. Two guys leaning on each other. As physical as the game was in the yes. first half, I'm a little surprised that we saw a whistle right there. It was incredibly physical in the first half of play. State 2-3 zone. Ziegler, too strong. And rising for the rebound is Moore. 49-46, this game has turned on a dime. Vescovy almost had another steal. And all of a sudden, this crowd incredulous over what has happened here in the last five and change. Don't you think this is indicative of how versatile, though, this Tennessee team can be offensively? And we haven't always said that. Right. Well, we were bragging about it a little bit at the beginning of this game. Now, this Tennessee team seems to have more firepower. And then, right on cue, just to make us look bad, they hang up 22 in the first half and are the victim of seven steals. But you can see now in the second half why so many people are so high on this balls team, better offensively perhaps than a year ago. Hubbard in traffic, no, tough shot there for the loose change and drawing the foul is Sean Jones. Well, if DJ Jeffries has been the active one defensively, Sean Jones has been active on the offensive end. Did not score in the loss at South Carolina but has kind of put his fingerprints and has impacted the game in positive ways here this afternoon, or tonight, I should say. And that will stop the bleeding. That Tennessee run, a 9-0 run for the Volunteers. And made it a three-point game as Jones connects on the first free throw. These are the kind of battles that we are going to be treated to, and you at home are going to be treated to all year long. This league is so good. It is so deep. It's not just top heavy. I mean, Mississippi yeah. State, right now, if you, if you go by net ranking and everything else, they're right there around eight, nine. And here they are. They got a chance to beat the number five team in the country. The Connect had Hubbard on him. If they can get him the ball in a scoring zone, they're trying to post him up. Connect in the corner, tries the baseline, nothing there, and a shot clock violation. Shot clock violation, Ziegler looks at Connect, and Connect says, yep, my bad, I lost, I lost time on the clock. And to further emphasize your point, it's just January 9th. It's just January 9th, <laughs> folks, it only gets better. It only gets better, we already retreated to some great games on the opening Saturday. And this one has been a whole lot of fun to watch and call so far tonight. Jeffries puts it on the deck. Jeffries trying to find some daylight, can't do it. Aggressive defense by Tennessee and a steal. And now a scrum and the arrow will go the ball's way. At another turnover forced by that Tennessee defense which has amped up here in this second half in a five point game. 51-46, our score here from the Hump in Starkville. Mike Morgan, Mark Wise, back with you here on a Wednesday night as we check out the Good Hands play brought to you by Allstate. Well, it seems like a simple thing on a side out of bounds, but maybe this will get Dalton Connect going because he knocks down that three, and then in transition, he follows it up with another. And then Zakai Ziegler, who's just been sensational all game long, knocks down his 4-3 ball, that led to that 9-0 run and almost instantly 
put the fight of this game back in the middle of the ring. You see the second half stats, and it's a different story than what we saw in the first half when Tennessee was ice cold, particularly from outside. Nobody other than Ziegler could hit much of anything. They have heated up, and they're, they're now forcing the turnovers. Seven turnovers, thanks in large part to that full court pressure provided by a stifling Tennessee defense. Again, somebody's picking up a quad one win tonight. Two teams that right now are projected to make the NCAA tournament according to our own Joe Lenardi. Never too early for a little bracketology as we're in the second game of conference play. Tennessee maintains possession. Bescovy checks into the ball game. And Matthews does so for Mississippi State. And Tolu Smith has returned. Can Mississippi State reestablish? Connect. Off the balls. Inbounds right to him. A design play, and he drills another triple. I talked about that simple side out of bounds play where he got a clean look. Well, now he's got it going. What does State have to do better to defend it? Uh, get more connected. Yep. You cannot lose sight of him. Sir. Again. Yeah, this is a, this is a takedown by Awaka. We've seen a few of them. Take another look on the wraparound. Connect. That's just a catch and shoot. Did you see the seams on the ball? Yeah. He had perfect oh, rotation. Pretty release. I mean, as well, we're watching him today and shoot around and in pregame warm-up. It's the yeah. first time I've seen him in person, and you don't always get all that when you're just watching him on a random game on TV, but he has a pretty touch, just feathery. Yeah, the, the test for shooters, is it quick, is it quiet? Yeah. And he checks both boxes. Certainly does. Effortless release. Great find. Shot. I don't know why Davis would take more bodies back in there. Speaking of a great release, how about Josh Hubbard? He continues to hit a flurry of threes. He's got five overall. He's got 20 points to tie Ziegler for the game high. Ziegler, little dump down pass into the end one for Tennessee. He finds a walker. Back-to-back -back action. Here's the Mississippi State Hubbard three ball. He doesn't need a lot of room. The way he shoots, the confidence with which he plays. But watch the angle now, and Ziegler reads this. Awaka has got Tolu Smith sealed. That's one you either need to get your money's worth on your foul, or you've got to let it go. How about the game tonight for Ziegler? 20 points, six dimes. 7 of 10 shooting from the field. It's what he does. Yeah, it's what he does. It's what he's been doing over the last five games in particular when he's been scorching hot. Hubbard back up top to Davis with 10 on the shot clock. Matthews hard drive stops. Baseline drive. Yes. Off the cut. And then the slash by Sean Jones who's really given him quality minutes. I love that cut, that baseline. Remember I talked about, oh, it, it connects just feeling it now. Uh, yeah, and when you That's talk a about a poor pass by Matthews against the press. Another steal. Watch out. Vescovy, that one went off left. You could tell the moment it left his hand. Three-point game, that would have tied it. Another steal, poked away from behind. Connect, gliding. Leaves it off for James. Back to connect on a three. Back iron. Smith has the rebound and he's fouled. Owaka. I talked about cutting when there's a driver. Watch in your lower left side. That's Sean Jones, number five. This is what I call the Kansas cut. Drive, cut baseline. Be and I call it the Kansas cut because they did it better than yeah. anybody that I've ever seen. Left connect in the rear view mirror. That's four fouls now on Awaka. <laughs> well, I talk about getting your money's worth on fouling. I think Awaka is doing that. Yes, he is. They're not cheapies, that's for sure. See, I just, you can't constantly attack this double teaming in the corners. Right. 
Ball's got to get in the middle third of the floor. And the corners and horizontally very often. Throw over. 15 second half points for Connect, by the way. He and Ziegler have paced the Volunteers' furious comeback. Davis in traffic, and he'll draw the foul. Don't forget, coming up next, we'll take you to the pavilion at Oxford. Ole Miss and Coach Beard, they've been one of the better stories in all of college basketball. They'll take on the Florida Gators, who lost a heartbreaker in Gainesville against Kentucky. They were leading that game late, and then Kentucky made a run of their own, and then they got the advantage of Shepard every time they needed a free throws. Right. You knew they were going to go to him. He said, I'm taking the ball as a true freshman, and he hit every free throw. Yeah, I, I was at that game. The difference in that game late, as we take a look at Tolu Smith getting worked on, the difference in that game was Bradshaw blocking a shot mm -hmm. and then making the a three. three. Yeah. It was a five-point swing in a tie game. Who's going to make the big swing in this game with 9-10 to play? And Mississippi State up 58 to 53. Here's the 1-3-1. One, one. Jeffries on the point. You have to throw over him. They'll stay in it until the ball goes below the free throw line, and then it morphs into a 2-3. Vescovy. Great ball movement by Tennessee. Cut oh! Blasting the rim! Oh a my! Thunder is slam. That's two tonight for Connect. <laughs> my goodness! Get on your trampoline. He took some anger out on the rim on that one. 58-55. That silences the crowd. Hubbard can't find it. Connect on the rebound. What a second half for Connect. The transfer from Northern Colorado. James has been quiet, and he will make noise on a turnover. Tennessee's last possession. Watch the ball move in terms of Vescovy attracting the defenders. Gets the ball out. Inside out action. No weak side <laughs> help. <laughs> My goodness. Don't connect. A little tomahawk, little cocking it back. Getting some style points. <laughs> Another steal. Vescovy forced that one to Ziegler. Whips it ahead to James. Missed the layup. He got somebody. Hubbard's down the floor. On Ziegler. The spin. Blocked. <laughs> Return to sender by Adu. <laughs> Hubbard was smart enough not to go up with the second. <laughs> That's a business decision. <laughs> Ten to shoot. Stayed up by three. Not a lot of movement. No. Hey, you got some tired bodies out there right now. One the shot clock. And beating the buzzer on the drive, Shaquille Moore. But he ran into the stanchion. Let's see if he's OK. Official timeout as Moore hit the deck hard. Late in the possession, Moore with the extension to finish at the rim. And bodies went flying everywhere. Media timeout with 7.28 to go. Stayed up by five. Not for the faint of heart. It's been a very physical game. And if you're going to get a whistle, you really got to earn it. Ganey checks back in. Jordan Ganey for Tennessee. Now, this is a smaller lineup by Tennessee now. Connect at the four. He's matched up with Jeffries. A rare miss by Ziegler. And soaring in the air for the rebound is Moore. Seven minutes and five seconds remaining. Now, you better get the ball away from the sideline. And here's Tolu Smith. He of the 17 points and four rebound performance so far. He got a good breather. And obviously changes the complexion for Mississippi State in the paint. He's banging bodies with Adu down low right now. And they tried to sneak it to him. Ziegler saw it. 
Ziegler read it all the way, and it would have been a turnover, but unfortunately for Tennessee, Meshack could not hold on. <laughs> Ziegler and Tolu Smith kind of had a smile at each other. They kind of ended up in a scrum, if you will, after the loose ball. I'll take Tolu Smith on that one. <laughs> I think he's the odds-on favorite to win that scrum. Into Hubbard. Seven to shoot. Hubbard still 40 feet from the basket. Now Matthews, three to shoot. Down low, Tolu Smith, one to shoot. And he missed it, but a whistle with about a half a second left on the shot clock. If Tolu Smith gets his body into your body, he it's is over. dislodging you. Yeah. You're, you're done in you're the done. play. One of the all-time rebounders for active SEC players. Started his career at Western Kentucky. Has had some injuries with that foot. It's been a, an issue now for a while, but when he is healthy, he's a difference maker down low. He's just one of the best out there. That's why the coaches and media voted him all SEC first team. He changes the way you have to defend in the half court. Right. And now if he's hitting free throws yeah. the way he has tonight, that's a whole other dimension. A whole other dimension for his game. Now it's going to be State cooking up the full court pressure. I love that call. Mix it up, try to get the ball out of Ziegler's hands. See if Tennessee has another run in him. Connect one-on-one. -on -one. Goodness gracious, Dalton Connect has taken over in this second half. It is a shooting clinic right now, and the clinician is Dalton Connect. Where were the scouts when he was playing ball in <laughs> Thornton, Colorado? Went to junior college, then played at Northern Colorado. Led the big sky, averaging over 20 points a game. What a find. Tolu tries that spin move again. And a steal. Had his pocket picked by Ganey. Ganey leads the troops in the front court. Ziegler, killer crossover, sets up Rainey on a three. He just can't find it. And a do goes over the top. Gets the rebound and the stick back. I always say, you've heard me say this, Air balls are the toughest yeah. for defenders because it disrupts the rhythm of a rebound. Right. Most rebounds have a rhythm. It comes off the rim. When it doesn't, it's advantage offense. Wow. Wow. A lot of contact here by Matthews. No call. Rise and fire three. Too strong. And the rebound to State. Little turnaround. No. Miss from close range. Adu grabs the rebound. And there's Connect drawing the foul on the other end. That's a next level draw the foul. He knew he had the angle in transition. Here's Connect with the three ball first. He is com in complete rhythm now offensively. Look at all the orange jerseys around Tolu Smith. And here's the air ball I was talking about. Yeah, your crowd wanted an over the back, but you can go over if there's not contact. Right. Connect will tow the free throw line. 80% on the season. Pretty rotation. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Dalton Connect, 6'6", 213 pounds. 37 points at the Dean Dome. The second most by any player against North Carolina in the last 15 years. Both coaches going to their bench. Do you know how hard that is to do in a close game yeah. in the last five minutes? Well, who do you trust, yeah. right? Who do you trust in this final 5-17 as we are tied? 62-62, just our second tie of the night. Game on. Bring it. Josh Hubbard, the lone freshman on the floor. Back to Davis. And again, Tennessee's defense pushing Mississippi State out far on the floor. Do they find Tolu with a paint touch? No. Nope. Instead, it's a strong take by Matthews. Contact, whistle, and a foul. And Rick Barnes is irate over on the Tennessee sideline. I mean, the thing about 
That is five. That's a huge call. Adu just picked up his fifth. So you lose your rim protector. And with all due respect to the backups, including Awaka, Adu gives you an element that I'm not sure if any other Tennessee player does. Matthews has been an uneven free throw shooter in his career, but solid this year, 68%. One for two. State back on top. Have you seen a game recently with this much full court pressure from both sides? No, no. <laughs> Fun we don't to see, watch. Yeah, we don't see it much anymore. With both teams trying to attack. Yes. Connect around the ball screen. Connect in traffic draws the foul from behind. I mean, at times in this second half, he's simply been unguardable. The outside shooting, the penetration. You also have to credit the coaching staff for knowing when to go to him. Take another look, a little ball screen at the top, got the switch. He just initiates that contact. And you're never vertical. Everybody asks me about verticality. When your arm is extended the way Tolu Smith was. Connect misses the first free throw. If you're just joining us, Mississippi State has led almost the entire game. They've led by as many as 15. And the last Tennessee lead was 8-7 to seven with 16.38 to play in the first half. This for the tie. And our third tie of the game with 4.38 to play. There's no question this Tennessee pressure and press changed the complexion of this game. We've got two steals artists in Bescovy and Ziegler. Always a threat to poke it away. Tough shot and a miss. And they're flying in for the rebound as Mayshack, Tennessee, can take its first lead since the early going of the first half. Yeah, i got to believe Tolu Smith needed a touch there. Connect. Pull-up jumper. Missed it. Wow. It was halfway down. How did that not go in? I don't know. One of those carnival rims. <laughs> now you're stealing my material. I, I haven't used high rent district. I'm saving that for later in the year. 63 all. Yeah, here's the touch by Tolu that I talked about. But 20 feet from the basket. He makes his way to the rim, however, and draws the foul. And nobody is more happy about Adu being out of this game than Tolu Smith, who went right at Four elite performances. Connect obviously has been the star in that regard, but Ziegler has 20. Hubbard has 20. And Tolu Smith, in his first start of the year, 19 to go along with four rebounds. He's also played 26 minutes a season high. So we've had four guys that have really played outstanding basketball tonight. Remember when we said Ziegler needs some help? Yeah. You He's think got Connect hurt us? I think Connect said, I, I got your help. <laughs> I'll be your I'll be your Robin to your Batman. <laughs> yeah, Smith can't connect on the second. A oh, one-point lead for the Bulldogs, under four minutes to go. And they're going to do this high ball screen until Mississippi State can figure out how to stop Connect. Oh, oh, my goodness. Rejection by DJ Jeffries, who has been an elite defender all night long. I've said this once, I'm going to say it again. If you want to impact the game without scoring, watch DJ Jeffries. Gets back in the play, not only with the block, but to create the turnover. Remember that play to see who wins this basketball game. Now on the other end, Jeffries, not known for his scoring, defers to Matthews. And here comes the talented freshman Hubbard, who is known for his scoring. They got a switch inside Meshack on Tolu Smith. Hubbard with three. Hubbard off the window. Got it to stick. For a guy known for making threes, that's a pretty big time yeah. two. At about five foot nine on a good day, he's got 22. Not your average freshman. This is not your average game. Listen to this crowd at the hump. They've done some renovations to this arena. 
All of them good, and they've had plenty to cheer about tonight. Late in the clock, you see at the top of your screen, Hubbard with an acrobatic, high degree of difficulty finish off the window. Got caught with a Waka on him, the bigger defender. They couldn't get the ball to Tolu Smith, so Hubbard takes care of business. I like this timeout by Rick Barnes, because for the first time in the last maybe 10 minutes, you kind of sense the crowd being a factor, getting back into it. Has his team spent a lot of energy, especially going down the floor pressing, to get back in the game? We talked about this is a quad one win for somebody. Tennessee's number five in the country. You think about losses the last two nights. Number yeah. one, Purdue lost. Number two, Houston lost. And right now, number five, Tennessee is on the ropes here in the final 253. You see what's at stake. Again, you say it's early, but a, a win and a quad one win, whether it's in January or March, counts the same. Or November. That's right. So they all matter, and somebody's going to walk away with a resume-building victory tonight. You wonder, for Mississippi State, very often they've been the team of the bubble over the years. We'll see if that holds true this season. Don't forget, every Thursday right here on the SCC Network, a women's basketball doubleheader. This week we're highlighting the first game. It's the Lady Vols, who've won five straight. They host the Gators in Knoxville. That'll be at 7 o'clock. Eastern time. He's the coach Mark Wise. I am Mike Morgan. It's been a whole lot of fun here tonight in Stark Vegas. A three-point basketball game with the Bulldogs on top. I mentioned there's going to be a couple of really good teams in this league that'll fall to 0-2. Tennessee trying to make Mississippi State one of them. How about this matchup? Jeffries on Connect. Vescovy tried to angle it in, could not do it. Quick hands by the Bulldogs, and then a foul 70 feet from the bucket by Mayshack. I don't know what Mayshack is thinking because he looked at Rick Barnes, and Rick Barnes went, that's what are you a foul. Doing? <laughs> that's a foul, and it's a two-shot foul because it's a double bonus the rest of the way for Mississippi State. I didn't like the pass by Vescovy. It was crowded. There were too many bodies. Not a good angle. Right? Bad angle, yeah, it's it, low, bounce pass to a big guy. Yeah, big guys don't like catching it down by no, their ankles. Felt like a force. Let's see if Hubbard can make him pay. Boy, he does not play like a freshman. Did well, this, he, I'm sorry, Mike, yeah, go did ahead. this crowd get quiet or what? Oh, yeah, it sure did. <laughs> but they've been into the game, you know, not all the students are back. That the student section, which is behind us, has been rounded. They got a DJ now. I know you were requesting some Barry yes. Manilow, Mark. I thought that was a really <laughs> yeah. questionable call on your no, part. No, he played some Earth, Wind, and Fire earlier. I know you're. You have all of Michael Bolton's collection. <laughs> Again, down the floor. I like this. They're just doing it on the inbounds, then backing off into their man-to-man. -man. What's the play here? It's got to be Ziegler. Yeah, Ziegler and connect. Ziegler on a three, too strong. Connect taps it and corralled by State. I think Jeffrey's got a hand on that as well. Now there's too many possessions to play the shot clock game now. Right. Run your stuff. Attack. Tennessee in search of a stop. Now trying to run a two-man game with Hubbard and Tolu Smith. Well, this is complete isolation. Tolu gonna back in. Again, no Adu. He's fouled out of the game. Tolu using that size. Tolu missed it. Air ball recovered. Did Matthews get it off? They're going to review it. I could not tell. I mean, it's a fraction of a second here whether or not Cameron Matthews got this ball off. My first thought was he did. But going to the offensive glass, remember it's another air ball. Take another look. Watch this ball either gets, def I think it gets blocked, so yeah. it's short, so an advantage offensive player. Does Matthews get it off in time? And he does. Oh, yeah. Okay. That was my first thought. Your th first thought was a good one, and I'm sure our crew of Terry Oglesby, Steven Anderson, Byron Jarrett will confirm it. I'm now one for one in 2024. In 2024. It's our first game, yes. so yeah. Well, that'll make up for an abysmal streak <laughs> yes. we had in 2023, yes. for the record. Take another look. Ball got tipped by a Waka. Matthews, the first of the ball. And how about Matthews recognizing that he needed to get that ball 
back up on the rim. Well, this, this has really been a game of spurts, right? A lot of runs by both teams. You don't want to be the last one that goes into a drought. Tennessee has not scored in the last two minutes and 48 seconds. State has capitalized on a 6-0 run. Well, you just kind of wonder, can, can James, can Vescovy, can they make a shot to help out yeah. Ziegler and connect? Yeah, Vescovy's only got two points tonight. Ziegler up top. Probes the left side and almost a three-point play. He snuck it up there with his left hand. This is a call from the timeout. Designed to get Ziegler going downhill. Watch the screen. Vescovy clears away. He rejects the screen and attacks Tolu Smith. That's where Tolu Smith has got to do a better job of moving his feet. Defense is played with your feet not your hands. By the way, keep an eye on this in the final buck 42. That is the fourth foul on Tolu Smith. Yeah, I don't think Chris Jans is not going to worry about that right now. He's going to stay on the floor. Now here's the big question. Can Mississippi State keep the ball in the middle of the floor? See, somebody's got to go long. There it is. Hubbard beats the secondary and finishes on the other end. Good call, coach. 25 for the freshman. Ziegler at a pull-up, a silencer. Ooh, how good has he been? Under a minute and a half to go. Ziegler with 24. Now that should loosen things up to get the ball inbounds easier. And I don't like holding. There's that bounce pass again. See, that's a Turnover. bad play. Ziegler! It's a two-point game. Timeout, Mississippi State. Chris Jans beside himself. The problem with the turnover, it happens so fast. You have, once you catch the ball, you've got five seconds. Right. Don't panic. And you can roam the baseline after a made basket. Yeah, they got it in. It was the throwback. They're trying to run the guy down the middle of the floor, the inbounder. Take another look. First of all, I, I said the fly pattern had been open for several times, and here it is. Wide receiver Josh Hubbard finishes for the easy points, but watch the, the miscommunication. Jeffries is going up the floor, and the bounce pass was where he was and not where he was going. And that changes everything because now you're back in a one possession game. Oh, this game will take your breath away sometimes. This has been unbelievable basketball tonight. As you see the scenario for these teams down the stretch, timeouts could be critical. Foul trouble certainly would be an issue. Again, Tolu Smith has four. Adu has already fouled out for Tennessee, their top rim protector. Oh, there's the old Arkansas run and jump. They're just running and jumping. They're trying to make Mississippi State play out of system. Ziegler flirted with another steal, but instead will get whistled for the foul. I love the call by Rick Barnes. Double team the ball because Mississippi State in the back of their mind is thinking, okay, let's run a little clock here. And that double team is designed to make you take unpracticed shots. Matthews 68% on the year. High arcing free throw. Rattles in. He's got six points. The lead is now three. Matthews, a senior out of Olive Branch, misses the second one possession game under a minute to play. Connect on the drive, connect, draws the foul. That was going to be a drive all the way. Connect was determined to take yeah. that to the rack. He got just an angle for the first time when Jeffries has been guarding him. Watch him, his shoulder get ahead of Jeffries' shoulder. Right there. And then that reach in right there. That's a veteran play by Connect to draw the foul. Got the contact on the arm. Connect. 
Silky smooth on the first, 80% free throw shooter on the year. Remember, Tennessee, the number one free throw shooting team in this conference. And 10th in the country at 78%. That is a strong number. <laughs> Missed the second. And a good box out by Mississippi State. Two point game. Keep the ball in the middle of the floor. Vescovy stole it! Or did he? I think Wait a, a minute. A 10 second violation. And Rick Barnes saying, don't blow the whistle, you just cost us a breakaway layup. Well, a 10 second violation takes precedent. Yes, yeah, Vescovy would have had to gain control of the ball. <laughs> Correct. It's not a subjective call. Obviously, Vescovy's saying, hey, I want my, not just my steal, I want my bucket. Hubbard was guilty of dribbling without going anywhere. Can we hear the whistle? Yeah, let's listen. Yeah, we, we could not hear that in our headsets. Like, and we'll play on anyway. 72-70 Ziegler finds connect on the flush in a tie ball game here in Starkville. The two best players for Tennessee tonight, Ziegler and Connect. Connect. It's been a two-man show for Tennessee in this second half. Almost a turnover and a bobble there by Jeffries. All right, five-second differential. Where does the play go? Tolu Smith. Smith is down near the left block. He wants it. He gets it on the right block. Smith in traffic. Smith throws it up there. Got it! Three-point opportunity for the senior. Took him a while to get there, but once we talked about this all night, the scoring zone of Tolu Smith. And he has been almost unstoppable. 22 points in his first start of the year. And again, without Adu, their top rim protector who fouled out minutes ago, it's just a total mismatch. Now this is interesting because with a walk out of the game, Rick Barnes has gone five guards, if you will, if you want to think of connect as a guard. So Tolu Smith has got to guard somebody. Right. And I think you're going to see a counter move by Chris Jans if Tolu Smith can make this free throw. He's 8 for 11 tonight. It'll be a one possession game regardless, make or miss. Tennessee does have two timeouts remaining. Up and in timeout here's the adjustment I talked about so Tolu Smith is now out so Mississippi State and Chris Jans has matched up speed for speed right with the Tennessee lineup no timeout just a substitution Tennessee needs a three when do you foul do you foul? not yet Ziegler d3 on the way air ball now connect with five seconds connect and it's stripped by Davis. Davis slammed to Matthews. Still point one on the clock. The fans are ready to charge the court. Security says not now. Point one left, but either way, Mississippi State is going to knock off a top five team. First time since Kentucky. It's a bad week to be in the top five. Yes, it is. The third one is about to go down. Purdue, Houston, and now Tennessee. Mammoth victory for the hometown Bulldogs. First win since 2002 against an AP top 10 team. A Mississippi State team that lost one on the road on Saturday. They come back here. They took the best punch Tennessee had to offer in the second half. Here's the miss by Ziegler. Watch the quick hands. I think it is Davis right there that creates the turnover. 
and Mississippi State with their quad one win. And we're gonna spend a lot of time talking about Tolu Smith and Josh Hubbard. But to me, to me, the player of the game was DJ Jeffries. 